Hey everybody, welcome back to my world where no matter how old you get, you never need to grow up. And today we're going to be taking a look at two, 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 count them, two, MGA Mermaids Mermaids dolls. Now, I have already taken them out of the box. I am sorry to anyone who is disappointed by that. Here, let's take a look at some pictures of the packaging while we talk about these dolls. So these dolls are $32.99 uh, in most places. I will include Amazon links to Jordy and Shell Nell below. Uh, they're $32.99, I think I just said that. And uh, those links will be affiliate links. So if you use them, I might get a little bit of money from Amazon so I can buy more dolls. You know, the Mermaids dolls, so we met my friend over here. <laughs> And um, she's still just kind of laying back over there. But I think she's really cool. With the struggle for me with the mermaids dolls is figuring out how to display them. Uh, because they do kind of stand on their tails, sort of. You know, when you have shelves like these, it's kind of hard to make a mermaid doll stand up. I mean, I have my Sirena Von Boo upstairs, kind of away from other stuff, because if anything shakes even a little bit, if you're not really on a doll stand, you're down. So, so I think the, interest, the most interesting thing to me about the Mermaids dolls is gonna be the weirdest thing you've ever heard. Are you ready? It's that people are rebodying them onto Monster High bodies predominantly. I just find that so amusing. So let's take a look at Jordy. So Jordy is really, really cool. Uh, love her face. She's got this beautiful black heart right here. I'm digging her eye makeup a lot. Let me just get her little bangs out of the way. I mean, look at that beautiful. We got the cut crease going on. Um, her brows look good. You know, what, what really elevates these dolls is obviously the eyes, the inset eyes and their faces. And I think that that's why so many people are rebodying them because you've got a lot go we're gonna talk about the hair in a second. You've got a lot going on with the heads of these dolls. And then there's a lot of very interesting fashion, you know, above the tail. And then there's the tail. And the tail is cool. The tail color changes, which is cool. I mean, it doesn't color change like a color reveal Barbie. So, you know, I'm not like super, uh, you know, but into it, but it's cool. It's also, you know, that's probably really cool for kids. Now, Jordy though, color changes in warm water from what I could gather from the instructions. And I'm trying to find a circumstance other than a bath where a child is going to like play with this doll and the color change feature in warm water, especially with summer coming in the Northern hemisphere, I'm thinking, well, the cold water change dolls are gonna be cool because if kids wanna play with them outside and dip their tails like in their baby pool or their big pool or whatever, just hit them with the hose, they could do that. Having said that, this is the weird thing about mermaids, 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 mermaids dolls. They're fashion dolls, which means really we shouldn't be throwing them in the water, right? I'm very confused about the color change feature. So in addition to having an adorable face, She's got, oops, wait, we didn't finish taking her, letting, we, we didn't finish freeing her braids that I love so much that, you know, a lot of doll brands are doing um, to give us braids and they come out pretty cool. The problem is, you're like, Melissa, why do I keep saying the problem? Is, the problem is, the problem is that like in the case of this doll, because they're braids and because they're, what is that? Seven, eight inches, there's my thumb, one, two, three, four, five, maybe like eight inches of hair. It was a very unscientific test I just did. It's like super heavy. So, you know, I mean, it's it's heavier than the doll's tail. I mean, this isn't as bad as like Riviera's hair in terms of just non-manageability because it is these amazing little braids in these two colors. Um, she's got two top knots here that are really, really cute. Um, She's got these two little pieces that were designed, you could tell because they were that way in the box. These two front pieces are supposed to hang over her face. Uh, and, and you know, I mean, that's really cool, but also a little problematic in terms of getting it wet, 
giant, giant hoop earrings. And then her clothing to me looks very Adidas inspired. I don't usually catch on about uh, clothing inspiration, but she's obviously into sports. Uh, we've got uh, her purse, which is a basketball, her sunglasses, which I didn't take off her hand. We left a few, a few things left to undo while we chit chat. But yeah, so she's got this sportswear vibe and by sportswear I don't mean like athleisure I mean like I think this girl might actually play some sports sometimes I don't know really really cool puffer jacket with the stripes the puffer jacket is iridescent like it's so cool especially in the sleeves as you can see it's got a little bit more glitter and sparkle in the sleeves than it does over here but I want you to see it's two-toned it's silver and white. It's actually two different colors. And then down here we've got um, this little bracelet, which I'm really, are they bracelets? Why are they there? I guess they're sweatbands and I guess they're pink. But let's take a look what, at what she looks like when I get this coat off her because I feel like this coat is so overwhelming on her. And while it's cool to have a puffer jacket, you know, on a on a doll, that's always a cool, fashiony kind of thing to do. Yet at the same time, this is a mermaid doll, so I'm kind of not sure why we have a puffer jacket on a mermaid. I mean, she could be a mermaid, you know, in Alaska. You know, I mean, hey, Antarctica's melting, right? So you know, she could be a mermaid. I'm just trying. To... Oh. I just yanked her arm off. I'll be right back. Hashtag so professional. <laughs> Definitely you guys don't come here for the professional doll reviewing, do you? So um, I got her jacket off. <laughs> the easiest way, honestly, is to carefully remove their hands. Parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, cool people who buy dolls for kids and themselves. The hands are removable. Uh, so you just sort of hold on at the wrist and then you yank it out um trying not to throw it across the room in the process and then you get it back in there and there we go now the cool thing and i really didn't pay much attention to this on um our friend uh uh riviera and i i also forgot to do riviera's guitar so you know i'm 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 just in good shape right now the hand sculpts to me are so fascinating because they've got these sort of long, delicate, elongated fingers in these like really interesting poses, which I guess is like, are they swimming? Are they doing the doggy paddle? Because it looks like doggy paddle fingers. <laughs> I think about a lot of weird stuff. I really, really like her so much better without the puffer jacket. I mean, the puffer jacket is cool. I would have maybe liked it if it could have just been like uh, maybe a varsity type jacket or something. Because I think even once you take the jacket off, just looking at her from afar as a piece of art, to me, she becomes more compelling to look at without the puffer jacket. So I think that this is a distraction from the overall design that's cool. And I know the jacket is part of the design, but I'm just saying I like her better like this. Uh, her, She's on the swim team, as I said. Uh, she's, you know, uniquely qualified. Of course, these dolls are articulated at the waists, which is, it's hard, you know, if you're going to rebody them, that's the one thing, you know, that you're going to lose. But you're also going to lose the big giant tail, too, so... And you're going to end up with a doll that has a lot of the best features of uh, Project MC Squared dolls in terms of their faces, their eyes, the rooted eyelashes. Um, her limbs are definitely, first of all, she's more articulated than MC Squared, I think. Um, but her limbs are definitely a more sturdy plastic than the MC Squared dolls was, and that was kind of my, my issue with them. Because otherwise they would have been really, really cool, but they like had this like flimsy feel to them. Her tail is awesome because it's sweatpants or joggers or whatever people are calling them nowadays. I grew up, they were, tra actually these were track pants. If they had the stripe down the side, these were track pants. So I'm trying to see if I can get her to stand up. Ta-da! Jordy is standing. 
I'm still standing. So they can stand on their tail. Her tail is completely plain white. And so I'm really, really curious to see what happens when we do her tail. I'm saving the tails for the end because I don't want to get water all over everything when I have two dolls to review here. So, and I also did not check ahead of time to see if the two dolls I picked both use warm water because Jordy needs warm water. I don't know if Shelnell does. Shelnell. Now, this is probably my favorite tail. Now, and I do love Riviera's tail, but there's something so incredibly elegant about what they tried to do with Shelnell in terms of her tail. In terms of her hair, I'm not as in love because this bow is just kind of like here, like, it's completely ancillary to the do. I mean, so I, I don't know. I'm not feeling it. I'm just not feeling the bow. I, I'm probably, you know, that's just me. Uh, her hair is super, super soft. Again, so much hair on these dolls. No product. I feel no product in this hair, which is great because I can just run my fingers through it because they don't come with a comb. And I know that in the comments on night, um, something, Riviera, I think, I think it was Riviera, where someone was bummed that they don't come with a comb. And I, I was like, I have so many doll combs. But uh, I mean, running my fingers through her hair is very therapeutic. And I might just sit here and do this for a while. By the way, I'm doing my laundry as always. It's Saturday, it's laundry day. So her hair is this beautiful kind of periwinkle blue color. Now let's take a look at her face. Gorgeous, gorgeous face. Gorgeous face. Look at that eye makeup. Look at those lashes. The gloss to her lips. But I feel like this jacket is like really taking away from, because it's sort of strangling her. So I'm just gonna pull it back so you can get a better view. Like, look at that. Isn't that chic? She's got these giant blue heart earrings. I like the chromey ones better. And then she's got this uh, shrug, this fur shrug, which again, you know, if I go back into why are we putting these things on mermaids, that's ridiculous. It's a fashion doll, but it's also a mermaid, but it's also a fashion doll. And then she's got this really cool, like, uh, these net gloves, which, let me pull them down so that they're actually doing the right thing. This is very classy. I like this look. So she's got these, like, sort of fingerless glove cuff things with this bow on here and it just kind of you know goes over her hand really really very pretty very very nice look underneath the funky blue jacket she's got uh, a giant bow uh, bathing suit halter top on to go with the giant bow on her head that feels like a bit too much to me like I wish this had been a little more plain then she's got this uh, belt that is just gorgeous, gorgeous. And I think it's attached, is it attached to this material? Or is this material just gonna float around? I think this actually is supposed to be under, where does this go? No, wait, wait, I think I know where this goes. This goes around her waist, but under the belt, right? I think it's supposed to look like a collar. Wait, give me a minute. Let me figure this out on my own. So here, we're gonna insert a picture of the doll. And so that, this piece goes around her waist. Um, it looks great in the pictures. Um, it's not working as, as, as intended for me, um, which is a bummer because I kind of like that look, but oh well. And then her tail. So her tail to me is, um, I, Hexgen did the, the sponsored debut of this doll and they did such a beautiful job in the way they were dressed. And they just made me like love Love, love, love this tail. Um, I mean, it's just, it's quilted and it's like a peachy pink. And she's got this kind of big sort of fluted tail. So it looks like she's wearing a mermaid like skirt. Like that it doesn't really look like a mermaid tail. It looks like she's wearing a mermaid skirt. Like I'm going to the Met Gala dressed as a mermaid. Pardon me while my hair drags on the floor. Um, and she also can stand on her own. The challenge to the standing on their own thing is, is twofold. Part of it's their hair, and then part of it is 
which tail design do they have? Like, she's a little more unsteady, I feel like, than Jordy. Um, I really dig this, this belt. I do. I do. Okay. So, now we are going to find out. Look at, look at her necklace. Look at that pretty necklace. I'm going to keep her little furry jacket on because I actually like her furry jacket, whereas I didn't like Jordy's jacket. Now... I do not know if she color changes in warm or cold water. I don't remember. I have some, some tools here. Look at this. Look at all of this plexiglass. Are you excited? You should be. That's a lot of plexiglass. Okay, here we go. So I have this plexiglass. I have this doll who I am going to sit in here kind of as much as I can. And, uh, and then I'm actually gonna kind of tilt the camera up just a little bit for us. And I'm sure now you can totally hear my laundry. You're like, what is that noise in the background? That's the sound of me adulting. Hi, okay, let's see. Okay, let's see what happens. Hot or cold, Shell now, what is it? Oh, I have to actually pour it on her. I'm guessing she's a cold color change. All right, all right, so. That was a fail, not a problem, not a problem, because <clears throat> I have paper towels and we can get cold water. Okay, we're gonna try again. Hi, by the way, I got this plastic uh, container at Target, real cheap. So, here we go, we're gonna try it again. This time, okay, here we go. Uh, I've got cold water from the fridge, okay? So that should really do something, right? I mean, it's, it's essentially ice water, you know, because it came from my fridge. Here we go. Try not to pour it on your coat. Please don't get it on my coat. I'm trying, oh, see, I knew I loved this transformation. When I saw it in Hexgen's video, I was like, this is so cool. But it doesn't last. You see how it's turning this like pretty turquoise color? I mean, that is such a cool, epic color change right there. And then it like starts to go away really, really fast. But here you go. This is what it is. It turns this really cool color. And then it just goes away so quickly. Like here, let me just dip the tail in. I mean, look at that. It's so pretty. So I'm kind of bummed that that doesn't last longer. You know, because it's already changing. And it's only on the front, it doesn't do it on the back. So that's Shell Nell's change, color change. Let me carefully, so I don't spill water all over the studio. Lord knows I've done that before. Okay. This time I got water that was left over in the tea kettle. I would describe this water as being hot, but not dangerously so. But it's definitely not warm water, okay? So just parents, keep this in mind. If your kids are trying to get this doll's tail to color change, that water might have to be really hot. Here we go. Attempt number two. Water from the tea kettle. Not boiling, but... Oh, there you go. There we go. Okay. All right, then. And that was certainly worth going up and down the stairs for. Um, as far as I can tell, her white tail stays white. And then just the middle here turns gray and the back stays the same um, and then it's already very quickly uh, this is chilly down here it's turning back to its regular color okay so that was less than I mean it's already changing back wow um, and again I don't think the back changes at all okay interesting alrighty so here we have mermaids mermaids Jordy and Shell Nell. Um, you know, it's hard to pick a favorite out of the two because I, 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 I love the Chanel inspired thing going on with Shell Nell, but I really like the overall aesthetic. I also have to tell you, I'm like, I'm like a real sucker for black and yellow, like, like Hornets, Yellow Jackets. Like I just really like those two colors together. So that might be part of my process here. I don't know. I think, I think overall it's Jordy because, um, I don't, there's some, th there's more things about Shell Nell that I don't like. Um, like the bow, uh, the bow theme, 
I do like her color change better, but if I'm talking about I'm just going to have them sitting somewhere that I'm going to look at them and I'm going to look across the room and I'm going to see something and I'm going to go, oh, that's art. It's probably going to be Jordy. Probably going to be Jordy and Riviera. So anyway, you let me know down in the comments between these two, which one's your favorite? What do you think of the whole mermaids, mermaids situation? And uh, if you have a favorite that I have not shown yet, because I have two more, I have two more. I'm not getting the deluxe one with the hair gel. I just, there's so many dolls coming out. I just need to draw the line somewhere. So I'm not gonna get myself that one, but, uh, but I'm really happy to have these three so far. So, hmm, you know, they're kind of cool. It's a different concept. What can I say? I will see you guys again real soon. Love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.